All right, boys, this is your boy, The Workout, and I'm back here with another banger, another video for you guys, and another content. So today's project, we are gonna be cleaning out my old Focus ST engine out. Uh, you know, it has a lot of grease on it, and this is the motor that blew up. It was cylinder when I blew up, and when you look in the cylinder, you don't see the cylinder was, you don't see no freaking problem with it. It looks perfect, it doesn't look like it was cracked. Nothing bad happened to the motor itself. So I did plan on rebuilding it sometime soon, and I was planning on actually doing it before the end of the year. But you know, time and money and all that stuff comes in the way sometimes when you have a life and you're a college student, you know what I mean? So we're not gonna rush to do any of this stuff yet. And today's project, what I'm actually gonna be doing is that I'm gonna be getting some of all, all these little grease out of here all before I take it to the machine shop for the machine shop to work on the motor. So I'm gonna try and get as much grease and make this engine look as new and as nice as it could make it look. So we get some products from, uh, what do you call it? The advanced auto, it's called Gump, and it's an engine degreaser. And we're gonna be using this product today to clean out our engine our engine today. So I hope you guys enjoy this channel and enjoy everything I'm about to do today on the car. And I'll catch you boys later. All right, guys, so in order for me to start the process, first thing I did was get a box that I'm gonna place here because I don't wanna mess up my driveway, and two, bring the engine out itself. And like I said, I got the product. I'm gonna first spray the product on the thing, let it sit for a second or two, and then use a brush to scrub it out. So this is a degreaser, and it's supposed to get all the engine grease out easily. So I got this little AutoCraft kind of brush from Advanced Auto and we're gonna be using this brush. I'm gonna start with the, there's three different brushes in here. There's one that's really soft, this right here. There's one that's really hard, this right here. There's one that's like medium size. I'm gonna start with the medium size to scrap, try and scrub out every little grimes and dirt off this engine first. So it seems like the the gold brush isn't really working so I'm gonna use the silver brush which is supposed to be the hardest one among all of them to see how much holy crap it is scraping the heck out of it The, the greaser itself is supposed to do enough job, you know what I mean, to get most of the stuff out for you. So, so it makes it kind of real easy to get some of these stuff. And I want to paint this short block as soon as everything is done with it, you know. As soon as it comes out of the machine shop, it's, it's going to get painted. Probably the same color, but, you know. I'm gonna turn to the other side for you guys so you guys can see what's going on back there too. So this is the most dirtiest part of the short block and as you guys can see, there's a lot of dirt over here. Look at how dirty this short block is, oh my God.
As you guys can see, look at all the dirt on this side. I'm gonna spray it this side once more again to see. Holy crap. As you guys can see, I was able to get most of the dirt out, but I'm gonna do part two to try and get another grinds and dirt out of it again, you know what I'm saying? By respraying the whole thing again. I'm gonna go back again on it with the silver brush again to see if it's gonna get most of it rhymes and stuff out. So.
all right boys so I, th I thought i would bring you guys a little up close to it then you guys can see it personally and a little bit you know what i'm saying understand what's going on here kind of so pretty much what i have been doing is that i spray this degreaser on it and just let it sit for like a second or two and then just start scrubbing it with a silver brush which is right there and then just let it sit and then water it down a little bit i mean yeah you're not supposed to really let water go in the engine but i'm not really worried because i'm not touching in here with no kind of material or any kind of you, you know what i'm saying because that's where the pistons are gonna go and you don't want to hurt it or anything like this so that part is okay but so now so the engine looks a little cleaner than it did used to look used to look before so we're gonna water right one more time and see if we can get it to look shiny again all right guys so as you can see everything's cleaned out i mean i just water touch here obviously but I didn't bring the brush in here to scrub nothing in here or nothing like that just the body but i can see a little bit of water in here i don't know if you guys can see it but this little bit of water in there see that i don't know how i'm gonna get it out maybe flip the motor upside down or whatever to get the water i don't know but yeah most of the most of the dirt is off of it it looks pretty clean and pretty new almost just couldn't figure a way to get these these little grimes and dirt out but it's okay when it goes to the machine shop when it's in the low you know what I'm saying? Thinny, it would just get every little piece out, you know? And these stuff feel a little rough, so I don't know why, but yeah. So this is probably gonna go to the machine shop probably next week sometime. I'm not sure when, but I definitely wanna take it to the machine shop sometime this week. And yeah, so it looks like everything is ready and everything is good to go on the motor now. As as in like getting it prepared and prepped up, ready for our uh, engine build. So like I said earlier, we're gonna definitely build the, uh, paint, paint the body of the motor sometime once it comes out of the machine shop that's going to get painted so for now we're just making sure everything is clean and nice looking make sure you like subscribe and share the video with your friends and your family don't forget to like like i said i'll catch you guys later in the next episode the next episode is going to be epic man i know i haven't been giving any updates on what i'm doing right now but because i was busy and stuff like that but definitely when it's coming out it's coming out good so you guys are going to have to wait and check it out and it's ready to go in the car asap too Catch you guys later.